Welcome to your 430 Sculpt. My name is Beryl. As always, we have Milton and Oscar joining us as well. Remember to listen to your body today. Take breaks when you need. Grab that water. Return to child's pose. Your time, your practice. Challenge yourself and have fun. So with that, we can get started in extended child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. Knees go wide on the mat. Walk your fingertips long in front of you. Bring the forehead to the mat and just start to settle in here. Letting go the day behind you. Exhaling all the air in your lungs. Taking a deep, fresh, new inhale through the nose, filling up and open mouth, exhale, let it go. Beautiful, take another deep inhale here and open mouth, exhale. One more time, deep inhale, filling up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Remember to continue using this breath throughout class. It is your best tool. Use those open mouth exhales to release heat, to transition and movements. Go ahead and flip your palms up towards the sky and we will take the time now to set an intention, if you wish, for your practice. Bring something to mind that you wanna focus on today. Something fueling, something freeing, something that makes you feel good, that challenges you and is positive. Ever that intention is, see it in your mind's eye now. Take a deep inhale and then exhale, send it up. Beautiful. Go ahead and flip your palms back towards the mat. Push yourselves up to a tabletop position. Shoulders are stacked over wrists, knees are hip width distance apart. Inhale, right arm high. And exhale, thread the needle, bring the right ear down to the mat and shoot the hips back towards those heels. Stretching out the shoulder here. Good, inhale, reaching that right arm high, and exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm high, and exhale, thread the needle, left ear to the mat, shoot the hips back towards the heels. Just gently warming up and stretching out the body. Inhale, left arm high, and exhale, tabletop. Good, go ahead and flip your palms out, or I'm sorry, your wrists out towards the top of the mat, and take some circles here with the hips. Moving from right to left, and then switching it up, taking the opposite direction, just opening up those forearms, probably a little tight, you're like me and type a lot throughout the day, sitting at a desk or in your home. And then find stillness, take an inhale and exhale back to that tabletop. Good, moving on to your cat and cow. Inhale, lifting your chest and your gaze and exhale into your cat, arching your back. Good, another inhale, lifting the chest for cow pose. And exhale, arching the back into cat. Good, now take three more on your own breath. Really lifting and opening that chest and then carving your back and making space between the shoulder blades into your cats. Deep inhales and open mouth exhales. And when you're through with your three, come to a neutral spine, tabletop position. Taking an inhale here and preparing, and exhale, curl in the toes under, send those hips high, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here, shake the head yes and no, gaze underneath each arm. Good. Find stillness, inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, walk the feet behind the wrist, find ragdoll pose. So opposite hand is grabbing, grasping opposite elbow. Feet are hip width distance apart, your head is hanging heavy. Go ahead and switch up your grip. And then just drop your hands to the mat. Toe heel your feet together. And slowly rise to stand. Good. Push this back a little bit for you guys here. All right. Inhale into that mountain pose. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, baby back bend. Goal pose the arms, shoot the hips forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands and shoot it back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the feet up together and then slowly rise to stand. Head lifts last. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, plant the hands, shoot the feet back, and then push it to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right toes high. And exhale, bring it through for a low lunge, dropping the back knee. Inhale into crescent moon, reaching high. And then exhale into the half splits. Right leg is straightened out, stretching out that right hamstring. Inhale, crescent moon. And exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, bring it through for a low lunge, drop the right knee. Inhale into crescent moon. And exhale into those half splits. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, plant the hands. Find downward facing dog. Good, moving on to your sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, find your chair pose, shoot the hips back, weight is in your heels, chest is lifted. Hold in here for three, forward fold in two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, shoot the feet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, bring it through, low lunge. Inhale, rising up, crescent lunge. Left leg is now lifted up. And exhale, open up into that warrior two. Deep bend in the right leg, gazing over that right arm. Good, inhale, star pose, reaching high. Exhale, sink it low into horse. Take a second here, tuck the tailbone, roll the shoulder blades back. Good, inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Shoot the leg back for a high plank. Inhale, and exhale, low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, left toes. Exhale, bring it through for a low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. And exhale, open up, warrior two. Now the left leg deeply bent. Inhale, star pose. And exhale, sinking low into that horse. Beautiful, you guys. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, bringing the hands down, shooting the leg back, finding your high plank. Inhale, exhale, shift forward, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. We now will move on to incorporate our weights. Remember, they are always optional. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, step to the top of your mat, grabbing your weights. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale into your chair. You're low in your chair, weight is in your heels, wide arm flies. Squeeze those shoulder blades, expose the wrists, squeeze. Staying low in the chair. Yes, you can, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, good Sarah, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, dropping the weights. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, shoot it back to down dog. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, bring it through for a low lunge. Grabbing the weights, inhale up to crescent lunge. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Rotator cuffs. Weight, uh, your wrists are face up. Push the weight out, bring it back in. Push. Always engaging that core. Keeping the right leg bent. Good. Remember your option here, one arm at a time. Keep going. Exhale. Exhale. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Sink a little lower. You have four. Three. Last two. And one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, sink it low for that horse pose. Upward rows. We lift and down. Squeeze. Weight is staying very close to the body. Remember your option. Get those legs low. Deep bend. Squeeze. Woo, here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, good day, lean. Four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Punch that weight up. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant your weights. Shoot the leg back for high plank pose. Take an inhale, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Moving on to the left side. Inhale, left toes. Exhale, bring it through for a little lunge. Inhale, rising up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. This time, we're flying out, lateral raise, lift. Weight is coming shoulder height, then back down. Lift, lift. Exhale when you get the weight up. Good. Bend that left leg. You have eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Last four, three. Last two, and one. Awesome job, inhale, star pose. Exhale, sinking it low for horse pose. Lunge trays, push the weight out, bring it back in, push. Elbows are glued to your side. With control, strong wrists, push. Good, you have eight, seven, six, Five, last four, three, 
Keep going. Last two. And one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse up, warrior. Exhale, pull, pivot. Plant your waist. Move to your high to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep inhale here. And then open mouth, exhale, come down onto your knees. Weights are on either side of you. We're not going to cue them just yet, but they're going to be there. Extend the right leg back so it's straight. Neck is long. You're in that tabletop position. Shoulder step over the wrist. Micro bend in that elbow. Place the weight really in the palm of your hands, okay? Right leg lifts. And down. Squeezing that right glute. Hips are square. So try not to lean to one side or the other. Squeeze. Squeeze that right glute. Yes, you can. Come on. Lift. Lift. If you feel like your wrist hurt, clench your fist. Put the weight on the knuckles. Lift. Lift. Yes, you can. Come on. Here you go. You have 10. 9. 8. Suck the belly button in. 7. 6. Five, tabletop position and four, three, last two, and one. Tabletop with the right arm, narrow rows with that weight. We lift, lift, good. Neck is long, gaze at the top of your mat. Suck the belly button in, bring that weight up, place it right down. You have 10. Nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, tabletop in two, and one. Drop the weight, tabletop. This time, left leg is back. We lift. Lift. Squeeze that glute. Come on. Yes, you can. We lift. Squeezing that left glute at the top. Let's go. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, left arm lifts in six, five, good you guys, four, three, come on Thursday, two, and one, bring it down, left arm narrow rows, we lift. Lift. Re-engage that core. Suck the belly button in. Gazing at the top of your mat. Come on. Keep going. Yes, you can. You have 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And one, awesome job. Now coming onto your left leg, your right leg is long. You can check me out in the video here. So your right arm is in front of your body, grabbing the weight, pulling it up close to your body, then shooting it directly up. Obviously faster, we just slow down to demonstrate. Lift, come up. Full extension here. Gonna say it a million times, engage that core. Squeezing that belly button in. Strong left arm as the right arm pulls up, pushes out. 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five. Good. Last four. Three. Bring that weight to your hip in two. Last one. Bring it down to your hip. Right leg lifts. 
left. Not here for long, I promise. 10, nine, eight, seven, switching sides in six, five, last four, three, last two, and one. Switch it up, you guys. Left leg is long on the right knee. Weight is in the left arms. Pull it up, push it out. Lift. Can gaze in front of you or follow the weight. Whatever works best for you and your stability. Good. Keep going. 10. Nine. Good, Sarah. Eight. Seven. Good, Daylene. Six. Five. Come on, Thursday. Four. Last three. Weight to your hip. In two. And one. Weight to hip. You have ten. Nine, eight, seven, last six, five, yes you can, four, three, last two, and one, awesome job, taking a drink of water, coming down onto your knees, grabbing the weights, lifting up, a little bit more arm and leg weight work, of course. We're gonna start with bicep curls, just the right arm, while the left arm stays in place in that 90 degree angle. We lift. Lift. Good. You're exhaling at the top. Sink a little back. Good. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, lean backs in six, five, keep going, four, three, weights are hard center in two, and one, lean back, looks like this, down for two, up for two, and squeeze, down, up and squeeze, down. Glutes are always hovering right above those heels. You're not resting, you're using the quads to lift you up. Thighs should be on fire, all right? Four. Three. Bicep curls with the left arm in two. Last one. Coming up, other side. We curl. That right arm is up, holding the weight, while the left arm, full extension, bicep curl. Come on, lift. Good, you guys. Keep breathing. Yes, you can. You have 10. Nine, eight, seven, last six, five, lean back in four, Three, final set, in two, and one, getting right into it. It's back for two, up for two, and squeeze, down, up, we squeeze. Building the legs, building the glutes. Yes, you can. Final push, come on, four, three, good. Last two, you can, last one. Awesome job, coming all the way to stand. Shake out the legs a little bit here. Go ahead and drop your weights. Just get them out of the way. We're gonna do some leg work, some glute work, of course. You can come to the top of your mat but I'm gonna be in the middle, Milton's a little bit in the way here. So we're gonna start with a basic squat. Feet are hip width distance apart, chest is lifted, squat down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. 
Good. Keep going here. If you can see yourself in the camera, go ahead and check out your form. Weight is shifting back to the heels. As you go down, your chest is lifted. You're squeezing the glutes at the top. Keep going. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, last four, three, watch me, in two, and one looks like this. We squat down, up, right leg lifts, left leg lifts, squat down, up, right leg lifts, left leg, let's go, down, up, lift, lift, down, up, lift, lift, good, Woo! keep it going you guys, you can, 10, reach, nine, get that leg high, eight, squatting really low, last seven, reaching up, six, come on, last five, Woo! last four, yes you can, come on, stay with it, three, Last two, good you guys. Last one, get that leg high. Good, shake it out. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Let it go. Go ahead and grab those weights. Starting with compound movement. It's a wide arm bicep curl to a front bicep curl. Lift. Slow down your heart rate a little bit here. Breathing, exhaling at the top. Come on, lift. Woo, sculpting it out. Good, you guys. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, Last six, five, four, three, new movement in two, and one looks like this. Upward row down, lateral left. Upward row down, lateral left. Come up, lift, push. Weight is coming to that shoulder height. Remember your options here is one arm at a time. Keep going. Burn out those arms. Yes, you can. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, last two, and one, coming down, sumo squat, so point the toes out, weights come down in front of you, it's down for two, up for two, down, up, really using that count, down and up, keep going, lift that chest, squeeze those glutes, yes you can, good daily, down and up. Woo! Keep going, Sarah. Yes, you can. 10. Come on. Nine. Good, Thursday. Eight. Seven. Woo! Six. Right there with you guys. Five. Getting low. Four. Last three, good, last two, last one, 
Coming up, last thing, shoulder press. We push, push. Suck the belly button in. Tuck the tailbone. Squeeze. Shoulder blades, roll down your back. Go post those arms. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, last 6, 5, last 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Forward fold, drop those weights. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, coming down onto your tabletop. And then onto your glutes. And then all the way onto your back. I'm gonna do some core here. Go ahead and extend your legs long in front of you. Basic crunch, legs are long. Lifting up and up. Lift. Hands can be behind the head as long as you're not pulling on your neck. Or you can reach out in front of you. That's just what I prefer. You guys do what feels good in your body. Untuck your chin. Exhale at the top. Bring those shoulder blades off the mat. Come on. Lift. Whoo! Good. Keep going. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, flutter kicks in 4, 3, last 2, and 1, flutter kicks. Let's go. Point the toes. Hover right above the mat, about an inch above. Kick your legs. Come on. You can. Let's go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, crisscross in 6, 5, last 4. Three, crisscross, in two, and one. Let's go. Leg going over, alternating. Woo! Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two, and one. Taking a deep inhale and exhale, bringing the feet up. Not done yet, you guys. Now basic crunch, knees are up, plant those feet into the mat, we reach, reach, keep going, not here for long I promise, just for 10, 9, 8, 7, holding at the top in 6, 5, last 4, Three, holding it up in two and one. Hold it here. Reach out in front of you. Shoulder blades are off the mat. Breathe for eight, seven, six, five. Pulse in four, three, two, and one. Let's pulse. Lift. Woo! Yes, you can. Come on. Eight, seven, six. Five, last four, three, last two, and one. Let it go, long body stretch. You did it, you made it. Take a deep inhale, and open mouth exhale. Good, go ahead and rock and roll your way through all the way to finding downward facing dog. When you get there, go ahead and pedal out your feet. Good. Find stillness. Inhale the right leg high. 
and exhale, right knee behind right wrist, left leg goes long. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, folding over. Super and half pigeon. Let your neck hang heavy here. Let it feel good in that right hamstring. Good. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale into that down dog. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, left knee behind the left wrist. Right leg is long. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, falling forward. I hope this feels good in your left leg. That's where you should definitely be feeling it and letting your neck hang heavy. Definitely feels good in mine. Killer workout today, you guys. Inhale, lifting your chest, and exhale into that down dog. Good, last down dog of class. Feel free to get out whatever movements you wish. Maybe taking a final upward facing dog, maybe coming onto your tippy toes, whatever feels good. <sighs> Shooting the arms back, and then inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down onto your mat. Legs are long in front of you. Taking seated mountain pose, inhale, reaching high, and exhale, seated forward fold. Let your hands just rest wherever it feels best in your body. So don't overextend. They're resting on your calves, perfect. Top to your feet, your toes. It's supposed to feel good in your low back, your hamstring. Good. And then inhale, reaching high, seated mountain. And then exhale, slowly roll onto your back. When you get there, closing your eyes, letting your arms and your legs flop open, and finding your final Shavasana. Nothing more for you to do, just be. Relaxing from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Green up your mind and letting the body rest. I invite you to stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you are ready to move on with your day, start small, reintroducing movements to the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, clenching and opening your hands, pointing and flexing the feet, moving your neck gently from left to right, opening and closing the jaw, and then reaching overhead, taking a long body stretch, and bringing to mind something of gratitude, something you're proud of, something that you feel good about from class, that brings a smile to your face. Take a deep inhale and bring that with you as you fall onto fetal position, resting your head on your strong bicep, and then finally pushing yourselves up to sit on your mat. Legs are long or crossed. 
bringing your hands together, third eye center, the space between your forehead. Wonderful, wonderful job this evening. Absolutely crush it. Threw some new things your way. I hope you had fun. I hope it was challenging. I hope you sweat it out. Keep coming back. Keep making time for yourselves and have a wonderful weekend. With that, we can take a deep inhale and exhale, bow forward and seal our practice. Namaste.